Hi and welcome. Today we are going to explore about the text structure in writing. Most of the authors or writers of non-fiction text organize their writing in a way that is very helpful for the readers and when it is being read aloud, it, is, it helps the listener to understand what is written. The way they choose to organize their text is called text structure. There are five major ways in which non-fiction text is structured. Let us explore all five and look at the keywords also which are used in those types of writing. The first type that we have in front of us is the cause and effect. If a person is writing about some kind of uh, uh, some story with a uh, reason being decided, uh, explained, the cause is explained and the effect of that is mentioned. In that, that uh, kind of writing, the text shares information about an event and what caused it to occur. The key words though, those are used in the writing are cause, effect, since, then, because, if, when and so. For this, the uh, graphic organizers are available to organize the writing, to draft it, to review it, edit and then publish it. Next, we have the compare and contrast. There are writing frames available for compare and contrast writing and the graphic organizers, the Venn diagram can be used for pre-writing stage of compare and contrast. The text has two or more ideas or topics and the author writes about the similarities and differences. Over here, similarities means to compare and differences means to contrast. The words that are used are like, unlike, bo but both, also most similar to and different from. The third type of writing that we have in front of us is a description writing. It can be describing a person, place, object and there are describing um, graphic organizers available or one can make one's own. The kind of description uh, will include the text provides a detailed description of the topic of the text. The words that are used in it are to begin with. For instance, for example, or an example of features include. The next example that we have in front of us is the sequence. The sequence writing or the chronological style of writing that means in the order of uh, date or events, how the events occurred, for this the graphic organizer that is available is usually linear, it, uh, timeline can be used and the explanation of the text is that the text is written in order of events and the chronological order. The connectors, sequence markers, the linkers that are uh, used in this are first, next, then, finally, before, after, during, meanwhile. You can also use firstly, secondly, then, next, after which and finally. The final structure that we have in front of us is uh, the problem and solution. Usually it is based on the kind of conflict and resolution. The text includes information about a problem and a possible attempted solution. The problem solution, uh, the words that are problem, solution, because, since, the issue is resolved by. Good writers and good readers both pay attention to the text structure to help deepen the understanding of the text and they help the reader to understand their written text by following a particular structure. So in this way, one has to first or do the pre-writing using a uh, the graphic organizer, collect the required vocabulary, follow the organization of structure in writing and thus draft it. Reorder or review it according to the structure, edit looking for punctuation and then publish it that means share it with others thank you